Alright, so in this, in this demo I'm going to show you a good way to skew fix with a, uh, a nail gun. We're going to nail this down through the side here and we're going to skew it into position. So I'll show you how that works and how to get the best possible fixing when using the nail gun. So what you want, we're using 75mm gun nails. The ideal fixing is so that you've got about half of the nail into this timber and half the nail into the other timber. So you can see approximately about where that head is positioned. That's going to give you half fixings. And then we'll come back on the other side, as an example, and we'll do half fixings as well too. So that the nail skewing in will act as a bit of a grip, and we'll do that all the way down through there. So I'll show you the angle you want to be at. You want to be at about a 45 degree angle. You don't want to be too far back because the nail's not going to get any fixing. You don't want to be too close because otherwise it's not going to grip into the timber that you're fixing into the opposing piece. So you'll see there in that example where the timbers, where the nail's hanging out of the timber is about exactly where I showed you before. That's going to give us half fixing in here and half fixing in through there. So I'll finish nailing this off and then I'll show you some examples of what you should and shouldn't do. You obviously shouldn't have the, the gun too steep because what's going to happen is that the nail will skew off and it won't bite into the timber. If you have it too shallow, it's actually going to pop out the back and it won't actually fix in as well. So you'll either end up going something like that and then the nail might pop out the back or you'll end up you know, going something like that and you won't have enough fixing in there. So let's finish this off. A couple more nails. So now that's nailed off, I've got six nails, six, seven nails down that side, and I've got the same down the other side. I'll show you, I'll show you what you shouldn't do. So what's going to happen if you have this too steep, if I fire this now, you see the nail doesn't bite in. Another example of that, when the gun's too steep. And now if you go too steep, this is what's going to happen. Now you can see in there, where the nails popped out the back of the timber. That's obviously what we don't want. So the ideal fixing is on 45 degrees and back, probably about 20 or 30 millimeters from the edge. And it's going to ensure that you've got a, a nice, solid fixing from, uh, from both ends. So now that we've got six down through there on both sides, it's skewed in nice and tight. The next step would be, obviously pull these dodgy nails out, but then we're going to put a boot over here or a joist hanger and that's also going to help tie the two pieces of timber in nice and solid. Okay, so you can see here, that's my square line we've plumbed down the timber. That's where we want to shoot this timber against. We want it to line up with that. So you get your hammer, tap it across so that you're actually on the, on the mark. Now what you'll find with the, the fixing gun, when you actually uh, nail, it will pull the timber across. So you probably want to just be a fraction off this line, and I'll show you why in a sec. Now if I shoot this from the, from the back of the timber, you'll see it actually pull the cross onto the line here a bit. So you can see that's now on the line. So you can use the gun to leverage when you fire to pull it across. We'll have a look down below as well. So again, you can see that it's probably about a mil and a half, two millimeters off the line. When I shoot this from the back on a 45 degree angle, it should pull it across a bit. So it's now pretty good. If not, just give a little bit of a tap on the nail. And you can move it across a bit more. All right, so that's how you use a, a framing gun, and that's how you get good solid skewed fixings.